Ja. Så kommer jag bort till vad Ja, nej, vi kommer bort till där. Og gamle dokumenter og hemmelige ordner, og der er det jo et 
hav og tal. Og du, Hjertelig Gårdsjær, du, du, din bok i alle året handler ikke om, om religion. Nei. Den handler om, ja, jeg vil nesten si tiden med stor T. Jeg er vel hovedpersonen i denne boka, Klokkemakeren. Men du har jo i hele ditt forfatterskap også beveget deg litt i landskapet mellom vitenskap og myter. Og din forrige bok hadde religion som tema, så fulgte opp eh, boka ditt fra 1998. Eh, om Prost Godvins eh, historie og geografi. Hvorfor tror du at dette tema som du har jobbet med lenge er så i vinden nå? Ja, jeg tror det er veldig viktig at de temaene som er felles for oss her, som er felles for veldig mange bøker for tida, dette med det er mindre eh, troverdige konspirasjoner, er noe som vi alle er veldig interessert i, fordi at det handler om fortiden vår. Vet vi alt om fortiden? Det gjør vi garantert ikke. Og hvis vi ikke vet nok om fortiden, så kan vi heller ikke bygge noe fremtid som er solid. Jeg uh, er almost obsessed with body fluids, kan du si? Ja, yes. Why? Are these things so funny for you? I believe it started when I was a kid, and uh, you know, instead of uh, making prank phone calls and, and breaking windows, uh, I spent time inside with my cousins, and we drew just pictures of people stabbing and shooting each other and then pooping on each other. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that was, the, that was the biggest couple we could find when we were kids, like pooping on dead bodies. But <laughs> then later on, when I grew up, I found there was lots, lots of more taboos to break. Yes. So, child abuse and domestic violence and, and the murder and rape became a very common theme in my books. And also, you know, it's uh, I, I, it kind of like, it tickles me on the inside to joke about these things that you can't joke about because I was like giggling when I was drawing when I was a kid because I was drawing something I wasn't supposed to draw and I'm doing the same. I'm just still in the kid mode, yeah. I believe. Mm -hmm. So what kind of reactions do you meet? It must be many different. Uh, yes, well, mostly popular, mostly like positive. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, remarks uh, and the funny thing is like like uh, mothers come up to me and they say hey my six-year-old is always reading your books and my eight-year-old loves it <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but, but you